All right. As always, I'm Bob of Tells by Bob. Uh, and this is going to be my Dragon Con recap episode. Uh, if you weren't there, you missed a hell of a good time. Uh, for those who don't know, Dragon Con is, uh, I believe, it is the largest uh, kind of mixed fandom, like mixed genre uh, convention in the U.S., I think. Um, it's definitely the biggest in the Southeast. Uh, you see a lot like, you know, you think like San Diego Comic Con, it tends to be a bit more like media focused. Uh, but Dragon Con covers everything uh, wrestling, puppetry, uh, writing, uh, urban fantasy, horror, uh, the paranormal, uh, comics, Star Wars, Star Trek. I mean, you name it. It's got what, whatever you're into, they, they have it. Um, it is literally my favorite weekend of the year. I've been going now since uh, every year since 2012 or 13. Uh, I'd have to look it up to see, but at least since 2013, I know that. Um, it's Labor Day weekend every year. Um, it's fantastic. So I thought I would kind of give you a rundown of how Dragon Con went for me and like maybe some things that I learned, things that were interesting, stuff like that. Um, to start out, uh, this was the first con that I've attended since joining the Writing Tribe. If you don't know, the Writing Tribe is, uh, it was actually founded by uh, the assistant track director for the writing uh, track at Dragon Con. Uh, uh, delightful woman named Vanessa. Uh, so I, it got on my radar last year at Dragon Con. And so I joined and have been making a lot of great connections through there. And so, uh, got to, got to meet a ton of folks from the writing tribe. Um, for example, uh, I got to meet, uh, um, Bobby Nash in person for the first time. I met, uh, James P. Nettles. I met uh, uh, Joel Rees um, and some other folks. Um, so that, that was cool. Uh, unfortunately, they had like a, a meetup, a writing tribe meetup. I didn't get to go. Uh, so I had some new shoes and I developed some pretty gnarly blisters on my pinky toes. So basically what I did every day, my, my pattern was in the morning till about lunchtime, I would go and do panels. And uh, then we'd, we'd do lunch somewhere. And then after that, you know, it was either the artist alley or the, the vendor hall or just going back to the room and resting my, my poor barking dogs. Um, and then in the evening, we'd go back out for people watching because I, oh God, the people watching is so choice. Ugh, it's the best, arguably the best part of Dragon Con is the people watching. Um, so yeah, uh, the most exciting thing for me was I got to be on my very first Dragon Con panel. Um, I, I have long been an advocate that you have to define success in your own way. Um, everyone defines it differently. And, uh, so for me, I kind of tear it, you know, um, at first it was, you know, like get a book out and then it was like, get, get some good reviews and, you know, just things like that. And then, um, you know, uh, for a long time, my definition of success has been getting to do a panel at Dragon Con, and I got to do that. I was on the uh, indie publishing versus traditional publishing uh, panel. Uh, I was on there with some really great people. Um, Michael R. Miller, who uh, self-publishes uh, their stuff. They're British, I believe. Uh, they were fantastic. Um, James P. Nettles, uh, who is uh, kind of a whiz at uh, book publishing, the business side of things. Uh, Alexander Gideon, who I met at the Fantasy Gather, who's a uh, Falstaff published author. Um, Terry Maggart, uh, who's published like 50 some odd books. Uh, and then uh, I can't remember what she went by. Her full name is Oriana Shani Leckert. And uh, she is Kickstarter's uh, head of like book publishing. So like if you are deciding to like try and get your book published, uh, not printed through Kickstarter, but like raising the money to get your book printed or whatever through Kickstarter. She's the person in charge of that. So that was a fantastic panel. Um, was really honored to be on that. Thanks to Vanessa for helping me do that. Um, so now the goal next year is six. I want to be on six panels. I've been on one. I'm going to try and use that to weasel my way into being in a lot other of others. Um, I got to hang out a lot with Ben Meeks, um, who is, he, he was probably the first, uh, author friend that I made um, 
uh, since I've seriously, seriously gotten into publishing. Um, he's kind of in the same space as me, publishing Southern urban fantasy. Um, so we got to hang out a lot and talk, and um, so th- that was just great. Uh, got to sp- get some good FaceTime in with John Hartness, um, who is kind of my author hero. Uh, he gave a really great piece of advice. Um, went to a panel of his that it, it kind of fell apart part like through no fault of his but um basically the the panel didn't have a moderator (laughs) um so it kind of went off the rails but uh he gave me a bit of advice uh and he said when you're on a panel don't talk about your book talk about your craft and i think that's really solid advice and something i'm going to try and keep in keep in mind as i'm on uh future panels um Let's see what else. Oh, so here here are the panels that I hit. I hit Grave Humor, Comedy and Horror Fiction. That was good. It had uh, uh, John Hartness was on that one. Um, I had Bid Temple Smith, who is my favorite comic book artist of all time. He was on there. Uh, and uh, Sherilyn Kenyon was on there. I haven't met her, uh, but this is my first experience with her, and she seems really cool and down to earth. Um, so that was cool for her to be such a huge name in the space. Um I went to the Fantasy Gather, which is basically a bunch of the authors uh, on the like that do writing track panels, kind of get together and it's take over one of the rooms and sell their books, and that was really cool. That's where I met Alexander Gideon. Uh, it's where I got to actually hang out with Bobby Nash a bit. I met uh, Darren Kennedy there. Um, John Hart was there. A bunch of the fall staff people were there. Um, went to the Best Writers Con ever, which was basically just like a hey, this is the writers track. We're kind of trying to get ideas for panels from from those of us who attend. Um, I've suggested a couple. We'll see if they, they happen. Um, you couldn't do it without me. Secondary characters in urban fantasy. Um, that one was good. Uh, and then uh, I went to uh, Starfleet Medical Discusses Real World Medical Advances, which was really cool. It was on the science track. Science track is fantastic um, if you ever get a chance to go. Um went to uh curse like a brit which was hilarious is on the brit track um they got three british people um in to teach us all their favorite cuss words it was great uh the hunting monsters panel was great uh john hartness is on there um uh a guy named jonathan mayberry was on there um who i this is my first experience with him uh he was fantastic um also oh i'm going to forget his name but he writes the deacon chalk books um oh what's his name okay it's gonna drive me nuts um but he was on there it was cool uh to kind of see him i've been seeing a lot of uh buzz about his stuff uh, especially the deacon chalk stuff um he's also done a bunch of uh like comic book tie-in uh novels for like the arrow i think on wb and whatnot that's cool um got to talk with ben temple smith went by his booth um that was cool you know it's, it's neat to meet your heroes and find out that they're they're nice um so uh, it was all in all, it was a great experience. Um, so what are my goals for next year? All right. I want to get on a lot more panels. That's first. Uh, my goal is six and kind of now that I know how, and the panel I was on went well. So the writing track director was like, Hey, get at me. We'll see if about getting on some more. So that felt good. Um, my goal is to try and network more. Um, it's like, this is such a, like, there's so many pros in the field here. Like I, I just really need to make the most of it. That's probably my biggest regret is that I didn't do more of that. Um, I want to see about trying to get in on the fantasy gather. I didn't bring any of my books to sell. Um, uh, packing space is a premium books are heavy. I just didn't bother. Um, and I regret that now, but, uh, yeah, I want, I want to I want to bring some books so I, I can sell some books hopefully you know that would be great um, and uh, so for those who've never been and maybe you haven't been to a con um, at all uh, something that's very popular at Dragon con are badge ribbons um, they're just ribbons that attach to your badge and uh, people collect them um, there's like a contest now to see who can get the most uh, I saw one person that their string of badge ribbons was so long that I think they were on the fourth floor of one of the hotels and it touched the ground. Um, that's a lot <laughs> of ribbons considering they're like an inch tall, I guess on average. Um, yeah, a lot of ribbons. Um, I, I think I want to get some badge ribbons made. Um, people do really, really seem to like them. 
Um, and it's something that like, uh, what I saw was, um, there were people that would come up and talk to you after a panel, if you had something to give them kind of deal, you know, and it's something, I don't know, it's just something that people take care to not lose. It's probably going on their badge. So it's kind of free advertising. I realize that a lot of people don't pay attention to specifically what the badges are, but I don't know. It just seems cool. Um, my favorite cosplay that I saw all week, uh, for those who've seen, uh, who remember the old scary stories to tell in the dark, uh, books with all the horrifically creepy artwork. Someone was there cosplaying as one of them. If you want want to see it, I took a, a picture of it. You can go to tellsbybob.com. Um, all this information is also written down in, in a blog, my Dragon Con recap blog. Uh, you can see a picture of me with the the folks that I uh, like the panel I was on and picture this cosplay and read all the stuff that I left out, left out from this little uh, recap. So, yeah, um, if you're ever at Dragon Con, uh, you, you hear this, you know, you think, oh, I'm, I go to Dragon Con. I'd love to meet Bob. Um, just reach out to me on any of my social medias and I will try my best to meet up with you, um, sign a book, whatever. Just get at me. So, yeah, until um, next time. Cheers, y'all.